the receiving the answer. We remember you. Bishop Dr. Jung, uh, Myung Ho Jung was more than a spiritual father to me. I met the Lord through his teaching. Senior Pastor Dr. Jarak Lee and Dr. Myung Ho Chung changed my life. The most memorable things about Dr. Chung is to me that he sacrificed himself a lot to help us have the faith. His life glorified the Lord. I felt like walking with the Lord through his ministry work. Dr. Chung was my spiritual father, my spiritual friend, and my mentor. It was a blessing and a privilege to meet Dr. Chung in my life. I've grown up as a leader due to his teaching. I've seen his genuine love that doesn't sway for anyone. I hope we will keep his love in our hearts. People sometimes say that he was like a prophet Eliza or a apostle Paul. He was a role model of unceasing praying, leading Daniel prayer meeting until his final breath. We love him with all our hearts, desiring him forever. There are men who devote himself without anything spared for souls in Africa who keep their pure heart and the sub the Lord. Amid the hunger civil war, amid the poverty and the anguish of the illness, the man is a Bishop Dr. Myung Ho Chang, who unwavering walked in his life with a joy for African souls, no matter what difficulties blocked them. Today, we will re reminisce his ministry work of At the age of five, Bishop Myung Ho Chang, who lost his mother and came to know the Lord through the, his stepmother from a Christian household, even happiness was fleeting and he had to spend his teenage years as a breadwinner. I graduated from the education college, working as a tutor, selling ballpoint pen books. My life was gradually becoming stable after working as a school teacher. He strived his best in every aspect of life, from becoming a university professor to earning a doctorate. Even though keeping Sabbath with the love toward Father God, I found myself going to a bar with my fellow professor because I received a material blessing after becoming a professor, not standing on the rock of a faith, the spiritual, uh, spiritual faith, one day in 1988, I suddenly collapsed up at the hospital due to acute meningitis. The doctor said that even if I were recovered from the illness, I might not be able to speak, and after all, I could even lose the ability to move my body. Seeing my wife in the tears at the moment, I started to repent, praying, Oh Lord, please save me then. I will live my life to fullness for your glory. He fervently prayed at the edge of the face in his death and his life completely reversed. I've studied the Bible for 10 hours a day, including Revelation, since healed from the disease. I, I was inspired by the Holy Spirit so I could do it, and the voice of the Holy Spirit said that I should teach Revelation to people in the world. 
I didn't know what to do because I was not a servant of a Father God. Furthermore, teaching the deepest word of revelation seems uh, far from what I had to teach, but I tried to understand it. Searching textbooks written by the pastors in Korean English, I ended up crying because their content lacked co uh, coherence. Coherence. I honestly prayed for finding a right God servant who deciphers a revelation. I was informed about the Manmin Church and the lecture of a revelation preached by the Dr. Jara Lee. When I was listened to it, I resonated with it, and the Holy Spirit in me said, "It's indeed the true word." I was so touched to meet my senior pastor, shedding tears and prayed, giving thanks to Father God. Oh Lord, thank you for letting me know you more and about the word of a life, a secret of the heavenly by leading to your true servant. I've admired and loved the Dr. Albert Switcher. The most since I was young, dreaming of myself, devoting in the Africa. His, his autobiography had the most profound impact on my life. I was longing to the Minister of Africa since then and prayed for being called for Africa mission. Senior pastor led the seminar for God's servants in Tanzania and paved the way for me to go to the Africa. I came to Nairobi as an exchange of professor, also as a minist uh, missionary from the uh, Memin Central Church in 1994. I made up my mind to die in Africa during the missionary work. I wanted to sacrifice myself for Africa, teaching and pre uh, spreading the word of God, preached by the senior pastor, opening the secret of heaven. However, after Pastor Chang began to work for Hoso University and soon his son died, he expressed joy. But why would he say it happy that his son has passed away? Even though he loved that son, I thought he became insane. I visited him to offer condolences and pay uh, respect, but he was so bright. When I asked what made him happy, he said, I'd re uh, resolve to go for a missionary work in Africa and I would be worried about my son left in South Korea if he were alive, so God simplified it. While ordinary people wouldn't understand this, he kept saying he's thankful to God. I thought, oh, it's kind of a great faith. Finally, he went to Africa, worked diligently, and he invited me. When I went to Africa, I realized that honor, status, and the money having no significance to him. It's all about glorifying God and being willing to sacrifice himself. That's how it, that's how it was. Elder Myung-ho Chang made a former resolution for African missions through the meeting senior pastor Jared Lee. His life was totally changed to a missionary by the gospel of the holiness and left his home, South Korea, heading for Africa. Who's disciple I am? I'm a disciple of a senior pastor who is like a Moses. Like a Joshua who was Moses' disciple, I have to have a God's power like a Joshua's divining river Jordan, while a senior pastor has a greater power of a God and manifests God's works like a Moses did the Red Sea. 
It's absolutely right that disciples of a great God's servant have to show power of God. His wonders and signs, even though they would be smaller than of that, their teacher, that's the way to accomplish the will of God. Like Joshua dividing Jordan and breaking down the Jericho. Finally, he began the missionary work, putting down the position as a professor in 1996. I've been proud of Elder Chung, who's taught the leaders of a pastor, servant of God in 50 countries of Africa. Now he's appointed as a pastor following God's will. The happiest moment in my life was when I met the senior pastor, Dr. Gerald Lee. I'm confident that was the most blessing to me. I wouldn't be here without Dr. Lee, my shepherd. Father God led me to my shepherd, then called me as a God's servant. I want to dedicate my life in Africa. Starting with the historic first United Crusade in the Uganda, reported by the global broadcast of CNN and attended by the dignitaries, including the Minister of Justice, followed by the 2001 Kenya United Crusade, which recorded the largest gathering in the history of a Kenyan Christian events with around 300,000 people attending. Then the 2006 Congo United Crusade, which was broadcast live to over 150 countries and witnessed by the audience of around 700,000 people. Bishop Chang played a key role of organizing this historic United Christ Crusade. Miraculous God's power unfolded at every location, opening a door for African missions. Through word of a mouth, the gospel of holiness spread across the entirety of uh, Africa. As God expanded my missionary work within Shepherd's Ram, I traveled to various uh, countries conducting pastoral seminars and conferences. Especially the authority of the word revealed by our senior pastor, Jar Lee, encompasses everything from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation, as it is revealed the word of God. I introduced the senior pastor saying, the one who deci uh, deciphered this word is none other than uh, Pastor Gerard Lee, who found the Manmin Central Church in Seoul through various seminars. Many pastors joined the hands of the Manmin Central Church and cooperate. And about a, th a thousand churches are working together as a cooperating churches. After three United Crusade, he received the countless requiring of a holding seminar, but he was limited in time and space to accept all of them. Bishop Chang had a good idea by inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Manmin Bible College, called later MIS, was established through the fervent prayer and the wisdom given by God. If I were to establish a theological school and give lectures, I would have to teach it throughout the entire week. Furthermore, inviting other instructors would not work out because they are unfamiliar with the gospel of holiness. To spread the gospel of holiness to many places and become a family of all nations and then become a co-workers, I pray that with this in mind and the way is to teach students once or twice a month. After three years at our Bible college, when we conferred the graduation certificates, 
it becomes a source of the ability for their ministry. Now, all students at the Bible colleges are main pastors. That's why teaching is so effective. When I testify about our senior pastor and the gospel of a holiness, they accept it, express the gratitude, and then return to their local churches, praying for a senior pastor and to share this word. As a result, churches experience a revival and the saints' lives change. He established uh, MIS here and there in Africa, waking pastors with the word of a holiness. The African pastors were awake and worked diligently to share the word of God like a Bishop Chang himself who awakened through the revelation preached by the senior pastor. As a result, there were 54 branch churches as its fruits. Additionally, EAK, Evangelizing Association in Kenya, chose Kenya Mammon Church as 50 the greatest churches of 40,000 in Kenya. It raised the status of Mammon. I was touched at his humble attitude within preaching and the teaching. He was never the same with any other pastor in the world. I'm so grateful for learning through the seminar that was so special. It felt like a revealing of deeper word that was sealed. It was new to me and I felt the fiery work of the Holy Spirit. I heard bad rumors about Mamin, so I doubted the sermons from it. But today I received the overflowing grace from the one word the flesh bears flesh fruit, the spiritual bears spiritual fruit. I love Mamin and I don't want to miss MIS classes. He's shown his dedication, unceasing his sacrifice, and the walking with the Lord's heart that is strong and courageous. He never hesitated to visit Congo, my nation, where civil war is taking place continually. And the roads are broken by the terrorism. He never turned down that asking of a sermon. He never feared a threat of the, his life. He always proclaimed the Lord, even in the rain. There were times when he drove himself to difficult places to spread the Lord's message. His desire has been solely to proclaim the gospel of holiness, so that souls could return to the Lord, even in places where trouble was tough. His forever family, Kenya Mamin Church, is located in Umoja, Kenya. There was the 22nd, uh, 20, 22nd anniversary service of Kenya Mamin Church on November 13 this last year. It's grown as one of the biggest churches with the two. Thousands of 400 of the congregation in Africa. His eyes, looking at each member, contained affection and the proud towards his members. The church has abundant fruit due to his genuine love towards the souls in Africa. When are you supposed to arrive in Kenya? I have to uh, head for as soon as the end of the seminar. Why are you in hurry? The branch churches are still need my care. Also, I've stood on the perfect for preaching during the Friday night service and the Sunday services. I get there by Thursday. 
no matter what I have a special schedule for. I miss my members, and I have to share a special bread with them. He was never absent when preaching, looking forward to souls changing by the gospel of the holiness. He s nurtured the souls, praying for sick people and showing power of God to help them have a faith. Senior Deaconess g u m s o n b e n sent us the lecture of the Corinthians. At the time, the booklet hadn't been translated into English. I realized how crucial the lecture of the Corinthians is. About 2,000 years ago, the Apostle Paul was preaching to the Corinthian church, and the situation there was similar to today's Africa. Involving adultery and the other sins, through the teaching of the Corinthians, translating into English to these Africans struggling with AIDS. If they are healed from it and get blessed with a lecture, I will continue to preach Corinthian sermons. His love for to African souls was not changed, never. He never missed visiting his members even when he was swamped with uh, summoners or divine healing meetings. He is a man of a prayer. He prayed for me so much when I was in trouble for sin, when I was sick. He unwavering prayed for me. He even visited me to pray for me. His members have seen his praying all the time. Now, his members try to pray like him. What has he prayed for? How many hours do you pray a day? About five hours or seven hours a day? I prayed for Kenya m e m i n Church led by servants of God and the members inspired by the Holy Spirit. I pray for my missionary work, cooperate with the senior pastor's work, and the African souls becoming one with the senior pastor. I have many memories associated with him. The most memorable things to me is that he humbly served the souls. It doesn't matter what position or authority they have or not. He went to the impoverished area to visit souls. He went to places that were hard to reach, meeting and praying for them. Each aspect of his ministry touched the heart of the souls. inspiring them with the strength to run toward the kingdom of God. A prayer of tears shed for the congregation of Nairobi m a m a n Church, Kenya, for 2020 years, and that the sea of the faith sown through the love of the Lord have grown into the steady f a s t trees. raising workers for missionary work in various fields. Dr. j o n g s nurturing and evangelistic efforts have ignited passion among the congregation in every region. Especially the administration of Kenya asked the church to cooperate to develop the Umoja during the COVID-19 that was the challenging time for missionary work. 
As a result, the status of a Kenya Mami church was elevated and the more souls returns to the Lord. I walk, I will walk the way of the Lord until my life is done. Today, Bishop's Dr. Jung Myung Ho. Dr. m y u n g h o Chang still takes a trip of a missionary work. It's for opening of the Soul and Light Mission in Africa for those who walk on a Sunday so can't keep the Sabbath. It was his last hope. We opened the Soul and Light Mission on July 5th this year. I went to Bishop Dr. Zhang to get his prayer as a servant of God. 30 years old this year, he said he felt himself too old. He said he believed me that I would be a good leader of the mission. When appointing me as a leader of the Soul and Light mission, He said the mission would be prosperous, waking souls not only in Kenya but also other countries across Africa. I'm so honored that I'm called to fulfill his last duty of the Salt and the Light mission. My praying for African soul is nonstop no matter what where I am. I dedicate myself to love them. All time I spend with them is precious memories. I just pray for that. May them keep the love of the Lord who gave me the love forever. What is our uh, utmost goal? It's uh, saving all souls. And I hope that all souls in Africa save and stay with them in heaven. I will always remember He's asking to love souls, evangelizing to make souls return to the Lord. I will follow His steps with a devotion myself for the kingdom of heaven and our church. I will be desperate for complete of his duty he started here. I will be Bishop Chang's disciples like a Timothy, the disciple of Apostle Paul, who practiced the fervently commitments of a God that his teacher asked and accomplished the will of God with a man means missionary work toward the world. I will protect our members at Kenya Mammin Church as an elder, even though the Bishop Chang isn't with us, staying in heaven. I will run with the faith for the kingdom of heaven, for my church, remembering what Dr. Chang taught to me. not looking for the world. Our spiritual father is in heaven. We won't forget the word of God he preached, his love, his prayer, and the uh, sacrifice for us for 30 years. We will carry out the duty Bishop Chang handed over to us for the Lord, connecting and co-working with the main church in Seoul, Seoul, South Korea, Our missionary work will be going on in the way Senior Pastor and the Bishop Chang did.
Shepherd, I love you. Without you, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't. I I wouldn't uh, could pray. Without your teaching, I couldn't have. I I couldn't have a thought to souls. Without your love, I couldn't have a love to the souls. I thank you all of that from my bottom of my life on this video. I love you. Thank you.